6 tonight, a church bishop vows to stay serving her congregation. That despite loud opposition to her being the first openly gay bishop in the Methodist Church. Our Tom Mustin talked with Bishop Oliva, Oliva Toe today. Tom, the Methodist Church just finished a big conference in Denver. And Jim, that's how we track down the bishop. And I got to tell you, she was extremely generous with her time and very open about her faith. Now, recently, the highest court in the Methodist Church ruled that her lifestyle violates church policy. But tonight, the bishop told me she's not going anywhere. Happy Easter! Bishop Karen Olivito is breaking new ground. There are times when I feel that pe people are judging me without knowing me. Last year, Olivito was elected as the first openly gay bishop in the United Methodist Church. She presides over 400 churches in four states, including Colorado. God is so creative, so imaginative. We're not all the same, and that's something to embrace and celebrate. Olivito has been married to her partner, Robin Ridenour, a deaconess in the church, for 17 years. In April, the UMC High Court ruled that her lesbian status violated the church policies, a view echoed by many hardline Methodists. They need to renounce the election and the consecration of Reverend Oliveto as bishop. Secondly, they need to call upon her to resign her position. The court allowed Olivito to keep her title, but left open the door for a possible trial or suspension. We've pretty si much silenced the voices of LGBTQ people, and I don't know if Jesus would ever exclude in that way. Olivito says in her 10 months as bishop, the response from parishioners has been overwhelmingly positive. Meanwhile, she's hoping eventually the church will see diversity in a different light. Unity isn't the same thing as uniformity. And it is in the tension of our differences that we all grow more. Now, Bishop Olivito has roughly three years left in her four-year term. She says she's received no indication that her status is in any jeopardy, but she welcomes discussion with anyone who disagrees. We're live in Denver. Tom Mustin, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Tom.